Williams with us, Rick Majerus, in about 10 minutes. Um, the labor situation is really going to be a hot topic. It seems insane that this league, which is so great and it couldn't be any more popular, would actually shut down. Aeneas, right off the bat, rookie salary cap in the near future. Does it make sense for guys who've never done anything to make $50 million and a lot more than the guys who've proven themselves? No, it, it never made sense. It, my only concern is it, once they change it, and I think they will change it fairly soon, I don't think that, that money will be shifted to veterans. I think in the current economic climate, the NFL is getting ready to go through a change. I don't think they'll shut it down, but it's enough of a threat to get the players to listening. And I think you'll see the same thing happen in the NBA. I don't think you'll see some of these $100 million, million contracts I think you'll start seeing shorter deals in the NBA as well. Uh, Lawrence, I don't know if you want to touch on the rookie salary cap, but uh, wh what are you and your fellow players saying? And you, th do they think it's doom and gloom and this thing could shut down, or what's your take? Uh, I don't know. Uh, you know, it's one of those topics. Dude. You just got to play it by ear, and whatever happens, happens. Uh, as far as the, the rookie's cap, you know, it's one of those things that, you know, that I'm not an owner, so I'm not the guy that's paying them. If the kids can get paid, let them get paid. But at the same time, you know, I'm one of them guys to feel like, yeah, you're right. They don't deserve all that. But at the end of the day, we ain't the owners and we ain't the one that's paying them or, or drafting the kids. Hmm. Hey, let me get it. I don't know if, did you play the Eagles this year? Did you? It's Philly, Philly. Yeah, preseason. Okay, so you really didn't get to see him too much. But there's a great deal of conversation in St. Louis about Mike Vick because we have such a bad quarterback situation right now. <laughs> what do you think? Would you I think Vick would be a, an interesting idea for a third or fourth round pick? Well, it depends on the... I think the Rams need some immediate uh, production at the quarterback position and maybe a shot in the arm in terms of just excitement. Uh, could Michael uh, do that? Yeah. I, I think he can. I haven't seen enough of him to see what he has left as it relates to that time that he spent off. But if you're going to infuse some excitement, I think Michael Vick could be the guy. What do you think, Lawrence? I think, uh, I still think he got some playing ability left in him. Uh, I think. One thing for sure, it'll help the fan base. I think Vic coming here uh, definitely bring more fans to the game because, like he said, he's one of them excitement players that any given time he can go off and, and ignite a fire. And so I feel like you know that guy deserves a second chance. All right, the other another hot topic in terms of quarterbacks, Brett Favre. He now plays in the city you start at in Minnesota. Gut feeling after what how it ended for him. You think he's coming back? Man, you never know what Favre. It's one of those, one minute he, he want to play, one minute he don't. I just think he don't want to go to training camp, truthfully. I, I think it's a strong possibility he comes back. I mean, he always he seemed to always have known, regardless of what the fans or what the Green Bay fans thought. Uh, there's a Green Bay fan behind me here, uh, Frank. That's yeah. why I had that gesture. But uh, he knows he can still play, and it's obvious he can. He has a good offensive line, and he has a horse as a running back. And uh, when you have those two things and a good defense, your chances of going back to the playoffs and winning are very good. Mm -hmm. So I think it's higher probability he comes back and plays. Final thought for both of you. Your most rewarding moment on a football field, whether it's grade school, high school, college, or professional, what's the best moment you've ever had with some shoulder pads on? I brought up Favre. Maybe that's a good time. Would that be it for you or what? No, beating Dallas. Beating Dallas in my first playoff game in Dallas. Covering Michael Irvin every way he went. If he went to the bathroom, I had to cover him. Um, beating Dallas in Dallas, the first playoff game, coming back to Phoenix, and seeing all of those fans at the airport is probably one of the times I remember the most. How many Irvin catch at that? Uh, maybe one or something like that. Um, it, it, like I said, everywhere he went, I think if he went to the bathroom, I flushed the toilet for him. I was just assigned to him that whole game, and we beat him. Good. All right, how about it, Lawrence? Uh... Well, one of them, I have to be uh, my rookie year playing against the Vikings, you know, uh, playing in the Metro Dome. It was one of those I didn't really know what to expect because I'm going back into a place where I just made my career, just made a name for myself. And I wanted to know how the fans was going to treat me. Was they going to boo for me or, or, or are they going to cheer for me? So it was one of those that, you know, I was really excited to go back to the Metro Dome and play. And, you know. How'd you do? Oh, I did good. I, I, uh, I did great. You know, had a nice, I think, 70-some yards rushing. Had wow. like a 80-some yard kickoff return. It was, it was a good productive day for me. Had a couple uh, screen passes that went a little wild. So, you know, it was a, a, a definitely a great day for me. I think the fans was 
a little confused themselves because some wanted to cheer for me, but had to realize I was on the other team. So it was definitely a great day for me. Did you go over? For, did you go over a hundred in the FC Championship game though? Yeah, everybody, both playoff games. Yeah, that's one twenty-two. One twenty-two. <laughs> Frank, he said that like you should have known. That ain't already. <laughs> Guys, we appreciate it. Thanks so much for coming in. Oh, thanks, thanks for having me, Frank. Thank you, man. All Keep right. up the great work. The great Aeneas Williams, the great.